What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got one story, one question, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. So let me know who you think is going to win in the comments down below. I don't really care who wins. My Patriots aren't in it. Tom Brady retired, so whatever. Let me know who you want to win or you think's gonna win in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Our first story of the day is about when One UI 5.1 is going to hit Galaxy S22 series of phones and Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Fold 4 devices as well. Looks like the information coming out is AKA super soon, guys. I'm talking about 10 days from now. According to Fido's update schedule, the S22, S22 Plus, S22 Ultra, Galaxy Z Fold 4, Flip 4 are scheduled to get the February security patch on February 22nd, as well as One UI 5.1. One, they've updated their list to share this information earlier. So you can see down below the, in bold, you see we're going to be getting those updates and the 5.1 update as well. That brings along with it lots of new stuff to these phones. You know, there's camera things, there's gallery updates that are going to be really cool. We can take out little things from a picture really easily. Um, there's photo and video editing updates, customization and expressiveness, AR and uh, zones and emojis and all kinds of other really really cool stuff that will hit 5.1 and a couple of things about this one February 22nd comes around I will get guess there's gonna be tons of us that don't get the update don't forget when even though they're pushing the update out there's a really good chance that people especially here in America aren't or maybe not going to get this until maybe March why? Because it has to go through the carrier approval. It has to go through Samsung giving it to the carrier. It has to, uh, there's, uh, there's like middlemen. So it has to go through all those middlemen. The other part of this is that when you do get the update, it is coming obviously, like I said, to those older phones, which are gonna put it software wise in line with the S23 phones. Now the S23 phones, that might be a major point. You'd be like, oh, they have the newest software, but a couple weeks later, a week later after you, those the S23 phones come out, your phone will have all this new software too, so it'll feel kind of new. It'll give you some of those features that were exclusively only for a short time on the S23 series phones, and they're coming over to the S22s and the flips and the fold as well. So very cool stuff. Just again, in a couple weeks here, time that you should be getting that update. Your question of the day is, do you wait when you get an update to like see what people say about it or do you try to get it as fast as you can when it comes up for your phone are you worried you might get a a bug that's you know annoying let me know your thoughts i generally just download it and update it unless i see something online that's like hey don't do this update otherwise i usually just do it let me know about you guys in the comments down below without further ado let's get into our q a goon squad asks when a company sends you a phone to review how long do you get to keep it before you have to send it back and also what happens if you don't send the device back to the company so with phones literally i don't know if there's been a phone where i had to send it back almost every phone i get i would say basically almost 100 percent I get to keep it. Um, that's one of the perks of doing what I get to do is that when someone sends me something, I get to keep it. Um, the only companies that generally want stuff back, at least for stuff that I get, is televisions occasionally, but there's only one company that generally asks for the television back. Anything else, if someone asks for it back, I generally say I'm not gonna review it. Um, I, I think if I'm promoting or reviewing or doing anything with videos on that product, I think it's, one of the perks of doing what I do is we should be able to keep it because we're, you know, putting we're giving you guys free press here, or sometimes they pay us, but generally it's free press uh, unless it's a, a sponsored video, and that should be one of the perks you get to keep it because you put your hard-earned time into that video, and you're promoting it or talking bad or whatever the reason or what kind of video is with that. Um, if you don't send it back to the company, if you don't have a contract with the company, they can't do anything. Um, so if I didn't sign something saying I wouldn't send, I would send it back, and I didn't, uh, I won't get in trouble. They just probably wouldn't work with me again. If I did send a, sign a contract and I didn't send it back, they could theoretically sue me um, for the the cost of the product. And then yeah, that's probably about the worst that would happen. And even then they probably wouldn't sue me. They probably just wouldn't work with me as my guess. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll see you down the road.